My name is Rob Radio. I'm the Director of Operations for American Ambulance in Norwich, Connecticut. We are a family-owned commercial ambulance company with about 140 EMS employees, frontline workers that utilize the Blink platform. Uh, we operate out of four locations and a fleet of uh, 20 ambulances and support vehicles. Well, one of our biggest things um, as far as pain points is concerned uh, for our team members was always that we have 17 different platforms uh, that we use from a technological standpoint to try to support our EMS operations. And not being able to have a central place where we could locate all of those things for, to make the access uh, to those platforms easy for our team was always a struggle. Uh, it was check your email, it was log into this website, it was log into that website, and everybody had to have all the links bookmarked and it got a little unwieldy. So, um, we were able to address with Blink was being able to keep all of that in one spot um, and allowing the people to, our team members to access the hub and everything that they could possibly need right within inside the app. So it made things a lot simpler for our team to be able to be, you know, utilizing the systems that we already had in place. Blink just facilitated that for us. So prior to Blink, we had been using email um, and like a traditional business model, and then we all know how, how emails can be uh, less than effective to communicate. What we were finding was with our multi-generational workforce that they weren't really responding super well to, to email communications. And, uh, the likelihood of them actually opening and reading the email got less and less as the, as the years went on. So um, having um, an app that allows for this instant gratification, instant communication, uh, reaching a broader platform of people or a broader number of people um, was was really key to being able to enhance our communication strategy across the board. Um, everybody from we have everybody from Gen Z all the way up to, to boomers here still, and um, everybody's been able to adapt to this platform and make it work for the most part. We haven't had any real struggles, and the communication um, has been markedly improved because it's just an app that you have, and it's that instant gratification. It's the environment people are already used to in the days of social media ruling the world. So having um, a platform to communicate in that vein has been very helpful. Honestly, the best part about Blink is it disappears into the background, right? So it kind of becomes just the default um, and, and it doesn't, it's not a software that is there to get in your way. It's a software to facilitate what you need. So um, saying that, that Blink did this particular thing isn't necessarily, I think, the best part of Blink. The best part of Blink is that it just makes things so easy that the system itself kind of disappears. Uh, so realistically speaking, I'm sure there has been, but um, because it's made everything so easy, it's sort of just become part of our culture here and it works out super well. I think the ability to track our actual messages and, and obtain compliance with all the directives and things that we have put out there to, to further the business propositions inside the organization is important. Prior to this, with the emails, we didn't really have the ability to do side and read, also printed things out. Um, so I can tell you that our compliance rate has gone up because people are, are actually receiving our messages. So, um, which in turn increases all of the KPIs that we're measuring on a daily basis. You know, a problem is easy to be addressed right away and everybody sees it. Uh, you can push a notification and they're like, oh, I need to work on that or fix that or not, not do that. Or I'm, we did great with this and this is a great thing and we're doing great on this particular area and being able to provide that feedback has been key to really increasing and meeting all of our KPIs for the last year. Um, so in, in, in previous uh, situations, we had used other communications methods. We had used um, various different setups and, and found that they were all kind of clunky and didn't really integrate super well. Uh, Blink being clean and standalone without having a whole lot of required external integrations has been really great because it's not a, it's not a software that relies or a system that relies on something else to be working for it to work. Uh, Blink seems to be um, a really streamlined and very, very user-friendly and intuitive product that the staff seems to like, which is helpful when the staff likes the product, staff uses the product. When the staff uses the product, you get to communicate effectively. Me. Um, I had zero desire to spend any more money on anything ever. And uh, frankly, I think I ignored the sales team for six months before they finally got through to us. So um, having seen this, having seen the platform, I figured it was just, yeah, it's another Slack, it's another Teams, it's another whatever it is, I'm not gonna do this, this is gonna be a waste of all of our time. And I've been proven incredibly wrong. Um, I think that the, the communication platform has been fantastic. And uh, I would wholeheartedly encourage other organizations to look towards moving to a system where they have the ability to streamline everything like we do with Blink. 
it really does make a huge difference when people don't have to go to six different places to find the information they need and they can just get all they need for one app.